So here I've got my Sega Saturn. Um, I've actually changed it from the one I was using in my previous videos. Um, so it had a problem with the CD drive, so hopefully this one works. Um, got my Office Geek mug. And a nice cup of tea in there. Um, so today I'm going to be looking at Quake on the Saturn. Um, looks like someone's dog's trying to eat that. I've got another copy in better condition, but that's irrelevant. So, um, released in 1997. So, um, yeah, I remember at the time of its release, it was a bit of a surprise that they were releasing it. You know, it's sort of pushing the technology of uh, the Saturn. So let's put this in and uh, hit record and see what we've got. Start application. So yeah, it was. Um, sort of like an unofficial sequel to Doom um, it was like fully 3D compared to Doom which was sort of 2.5D and uh, you could look up and down but um, it's same game yeah the um, sort of decided to resurrect the uh, Doom franchise quite a bit later on with uh, Doom 3 which is a pretty awesome game then um, there was Quake 4 as well, and uh, to me they were pretty similar games to be honest. So, options, new game. Okay, that's interesting. Controller's a bit backwards as with most Saturn games. So, load times don't seem that bad for something that was sort of pushing the console a bit. So, um, Frame rates a bit, a bit dodgy, um, especially there's not not any. Um, just get the controls. Right. Yeah, there's not any uh, enemies on the screen at the minute. Um, darkness is it's all a bit murky at the moment. Um, what's this? So this is loading something. Could have done a bit better with the uh, image for the loading screen if you ask me. Uh, nice music, very atmospheric. A bit scary. Ah, there's an enemy. So we're just shoot him in the face. I remember playing um, Quake 2 when it first out on the PC. It was a uh, awesome game. This is sort of set in a medieval-ish time in uh, sort of like castle sort of levels but there's also like a high-tech sort of twist to it. So as with Doom you're going around sort of you know like here you got items sort of hidden out of view, so you want to go around and collect them. The controls um, don't really feel that responsive. Um, you know, if I press forward now, it sort of. I mean, it takes a long time for it to sort of come to a halt. But, uh, I guess that sort of adds to the feeling of uh, racing around the levels. Trying to uh, find the exit and uh, whatever you can get on the way. So I've just been shot, so that's not good, so I'll have some tea. Loading. That is a really bad loading screen. Rubbish. Alright, so that's kicked us back to the same place. 
So, you're only facing the wall or whatever, like that. It's a bit of clip in there, you can see. Um, but yeah, the frame rate is pretty smooth. But then, if you watch, when you just go around there, it's really jerky. So, it's not very good at uh, displaying the open environments. Pretty, uh, pretty satisfying to shoot, shoot the enemies though. Yeah, especially the dogs. Get you, bastard. So um, yeah, this is just me putting the game on, see what it's all about. Um, it's not sort of like a review or anything. So um, just having a look. This is near where I got killed last time. I'm trying not to get killed, but. Not doing very well at the minute. Fucking dog. Remind me of the dogs out of Resident Evil. Also like um, Quake 3 on the Dreamcast, Quake 3 Arena. It's a pretty cool game, but totally different to this in a way. That's uh, you know, focused on multiplayer. That was the guy that killed me last time, was it? Or was it up here? Bastards. It was up there. Fuck. So, uh. I'll just quit for a second. See what, what else there is. I think at the start you can pick different levels depending on what sort of portal thing you go through. So, I'll have a look at that. Interesting um, that it has the portal things rather than just having a menu with a uh, you know, doom had. It's because it's got them lighting effects there, the frame rate there is pretty bad as well. It's also interesting the way you sort of lean when you go left and right, a bit like a car or something going around a corner. Ah, so this is easy mode. That was where I went before. So this is the fourth episode. Um, so we're in water. Don't know where I'm supposed to go there. So we'll look at some else. Um, what's up here? So I don't know whether we can go in these or we have to unlock something. Um, yeah. So here we go. Another level. That we'll look at. Same loading screen again. You think change it? You know, it won't be hard to put a few different images in. Straight away in with the enemies, shoot them in the face, dogs. I haven't seen any big monsters yet. So yes. Um, same format as Doom where you're going around and uh, looking for keys. Also something I've looked at is uh, got an axe. Um, there's a button. Ah, yeah, so you hold one button down and then press up and down to look up and down. So. Yeah, these sort of games don't really work that well with uh, these digital standard controllers. Let's sort of play it like Doom. All in all, it's a decent game. Um, but it's definite, definitely pushing the. Uh, see that I need a gold key card. Yeah, it's definitely pushing the uh, limits of what Saturn's capable of. Um, I think this this would have been released on the PlayStation. I know it was released on the uh, Nintendo 64. But, uh, 
I don't know what, that, what the uh, PlayStation version would have been like. Um, I know it did, did get a sequel and that plays pretty well. Um, Quake 2 on PlayStation, so yeah, Saturn didn't really stay around long enough to get Quake 2. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but definitely, if you're a fan of Doom um, and the Quake games, or just a fan of the Saturn, definitely get this. It won't cost you much, and uh, it's a pretty decent um, atmospheric first-person shooter. So yeah, check that one out.